Okay, welcome to the third video on the Landscape Generator 2. In this tutorial, we will be going over the height map wizard, uh, how to import and export height maps. Okay, so to access the height map wizard, you're going to go to Untitled Tools, Landscape Generator, Height Map Wizard. That will be uh, the Untitled Tools uh, drop down will be up at the toolbar uh, where you access uh, files and edit and view and all that. Okay, once you have the height map wizard on screen, as you can see, I could not get the recording software to capture the height map wizard because it is a sub window in Unity. So I took a picture of it and we're going to be using that. So I'm going to go over the import height map settings first. If you're going to import a height map user, uh, if you're going to import a height map to your terrain, either one that you've exported or one that you found uh, online, you're going to want to bring it into Unity first. And once you've uh, imported it into Unity, you're going to want to make sure that the texture in Unity is marked as readable. If it's not, this will not work. You can refer... Uh, uh, how to do that uh, in the Unity manual um, or documentation. Uh, this is all gone over in the landscape generator documentation. If you forget any of this, you can always refer to that too. The terrain to use is the terrain that you will be importing the height map onto and the intensity is uh, how much the height map will affect the terrain, uh, how tall the height, the maximum height is basically. This literally just sets the uh, terrain size Y value to whatever this is. And then once you've set all those, uh, you can click import right here, and that will import the height map onto your terrain. Okay, let's go over the export height map settings next. If you're going to export a height map from a terrain you already have, you will first have to select the terrain you're going to use, uh, that you're going to gather data from, and then you're going to have to set the path. Um, I blurred these out just so you don't know where my files are located on my computer. Set this to, uh, it, by default, it's set to um, nothing. And then if you click auto export path here, it will set it to your assets folder of your project. So if you just want to export the height map to your assets folder, just click this auto export path button. Okay, the file name is the last setting here, and it's by default set to saved height map. The saved height map is basically just, the file name is the name of the file, so it's going to save it as e colon users uh, blank game related game design uh, unity projects landscape generator 2 assets slash whatever this is so in this case it would be slash saved height map dot png note that this always saves height maps as a png in the future it will have the ability to save height maps as a png uh, or jpeg but as of now, it can only save height maps as a PNG. Okay, and then once you have all those set, you can click export right here in the bottom right, and it will export your height map to that path. And if you're in your assets, you're going to have to right click in the um, 
project window, the assets window, and click refresh, and then it should show up there as a texture. Okay, I hope this tutorial series was helpful. Um, if you would like to learn more on how the landscape generator works, you can refer to the documentation that, you, that comes with the landscape generator. If you have an if you have an older version of the landscape generator, you should look at the old tutorial series um, about this. And um, if you have if you just got the new generator, but you still have an old version of the generator. You can go to the deprecated folder in the documentation folder, and that will give you all the old documentation to refer to. If any of the terms I used in any of these videos do not make sense, you can refer to the Unity manual, uh, or you can hover over any of the settings uh, on the landscape generator window or on this window and it will pop up with a tool tip that um, will display what the settings done what the setting does if you forget what any of the buttons do on the landscape generator uh, you can also refer to the documentation okay uh, I hope you'll uh, have a uh, good experience with the landscape generator 2 and that is it for the drip series